Oh my God. Is this another podcast? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Make sure you subscribe. Something feels a little off though. I know what it is. I got to summon my homies. One second. Uh, woo! Oh, let's oh, go. Oh, let's oh, go. Oh, we did it. We did it. What's up, guys? Homies, assemble. Oh. <laughs> I like that. I don't know why I like that, dude. The gays. I don't know why I like that. No, we'll do. I don't know if it was you locking <laughs> eyes with me when you <laughs> said it. <laughs> homies. Hey, no, or we, we can do it like this. Like we this. got it. We got it. Homies, assemble. Oh, homies, <laughs> assemble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're using all those intros. Let's do it. Yo, you guys, welcome to the first episode of the Homies Assemble podcast. We got my boy PD Flo. What's up? Okay, What's up? Peter, my boy Mijito Lex, okay, Alex. What up, babies? And I'm Eric. Uh, thank you so much for AKA joining Super us. AKA Super Ego. Yeah. AKA Super Ego. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to drop the Super Ego on him just well, yet. You dropped all our niggas. Shit. You know, all our shit. Niggas. Oh, my God. We're here. Shit. Hey, this is crazy. We're doing this. We're doing a podcast because there's not enough out there. You know what? That's what I was thinking. And it's like, you know what? It's just. Uh, we need there needs to be more podcasts yeah, this, out in the world one more shitty one yeah there, just huh? one more out <laughs> there man we got y'all don't even trip oh I'm man excited, dude. well shit I'm man excited. i mean I, I a lot of people are probably gonna be asking why are we starting a podcast yeah and it's, it's a clear answer if you if you've been seeing us or if it's your first time here we've been friends for 20 oh, no. plus years yeah more shit. yeah yeah I think it's been like 20 plus years, dude. Yeah, it's about to be our 20 year reunion. Probably. Yeah, man. So we met when yeah. we were five. We're 25 now. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Yeah. We look great. Yeah. We look amazing. <laughs> our our PPs are still the same size from when we first met. Which That's is very crazy. true. Oh, no, very, man. very I'm true. I'm glad we just capped that 25. We never stopped aging. <laughs> yeah. Dark. And we're showing it off on our Patreon. If you want to see that of uh, the photos, um, of our PP measuring from five to twenty five. Yeah, from five to twenty five. <laughs> yeah, can we do that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Shadow ban. Uh, all right, cut all that. All right, we're cutting, cutting all that. that. Um, cutting all that. We're just gonna come back from cutting that. Uh, yeah, we can start over on podcast, right? Like, we, we, yeah. we can say cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, all right, so Peter, why, why, why for you podcasting? What, what is this? What, what's in it for you, dog? Yeah, dog. So. I never thought in a million years I'd be doing a podcast, man. Yeah. Like, I'm a big consumer of podcasts. I love podcasts, but I just mm -hmm. kind of felt like, fuck, bro, there's so many. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot. so many. And like, why do why would people give a fuck about what I have to say or what we have to say? But at the same time, it's like, yo, we've lived a pretty crazy life. You know, yeah. we're old 25 enough 25 years, dude. Yeah, we, we have, you know, I we're, think- We're old. Yeah, I think we have life experiences that people could learn on, that people could relate to. So I'm like, okay, okay, you know, like, I think I think we could yeah. we could make it happen. And yeah. and on top of that, you know, I'm just trying to catch up. I'm just trying to, you know, I feel like I can't keep up with content sometimes. And I feel like a podcast is the perfect platform to kind of be doing something every week, putting something out every week, letting people know that we're still here. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I look forward to is like, say we're working on our TV show, working on a TV show, letting people know, hey man, we're in the middle of episode one. Mm -hmm. Like that to me is great, bringing people in closer to what we're doing. So yeah, man. And then on top of everything, like for me, The Ultimate Goal is a movie TV show, but I feel like I thought about what is everybody right now that has a TV show, that has a movie, what are they doing that we're not doing, right? Mm -hmm. And the first thing that came up was they're doing stand-up. A lot of them are doing stand-up. Yeah. And boom. Which is something we've, uh, we've started touching. Stand-up, we yeah. just fucking did it, right? Also, guys, we want to do a quick little break here. Uh, we are going on tour, our comedy tour, the Homies Assemble tour, uh, with our boy Martin Rizzo um, and PK. Uh, we're going to have Alex, myself, and Peter. And uh, come out. It's SoCal. The dates are down below. Make sure you get your tickets. Um, it's going to be great shows, guys. Great show. Yeah, so make sure you yeah. guys come out and uh, continue to enjoy this episode. Yeah. Or is it Mom, Diaz, Dios, represent. Show up. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what's yeah, up. Yeah. We'll fill it up halfway every show. We'll see you guys there. Bye. And then second was like, okay, what are they doing that we're not doing? Podcast. Boom. Yeah. So I feel like this is just a big piece of an even bigger puzzle. For sure. You know? And I'm not trying to say that, like, oh, we're going to get our show. I'm going to stop doing it. No, I want to... I'm seeing this now as like, I'm going to bring you guys to whatever we're doing, whatever's happening in our life. Mm -hmm. I want to bring everybody along the ride, you know? Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of different reasons. I, I can't really nail it down, but I think kind of the most important thing is, as you know, Mijito was talking about it. Uh, we we're talking about it earlier is just want to spend time with the homies. That's all we want. Just want to spend time with the homies. You guys have freaking 
two twins each. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's hard, we got kids. man. Yeah, we got yeah. kids. You guys have kids. You guys have like a whole schedule, so it's hard to kind of get it's together. Just, and this kind of forces us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm and saying? Get away it's from our girls. Yeah, yeah. ew. Oh, yeah. By the way, our... at least at least about five feet. Or <laughs> five feet away. By the way, on uh, doing the camera right, yeah, right yeah, behind yeah, the camera. Right right so now. much, baby. <laughs> but but why why you know man like you did your you did a podcast with your wife yeah not too long ago right but you've never done a solo same podcast. wall and chairs yeah. Too. Yeah, yeah yeah by the way thank you it's made it so much easier yeah. so much cheaper to get this podcast started um but other than that you haven't really done like a solo podcast you haven't mm -mm. done like a homie podcast with mm -hmm. any other so why not well like dude today? well dude listen we 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 love to conversate and converse with each other and just hang out and um you know me and alex we've done a lot of like mukbang videos too you know yeah, and right. so we we just we're eating and we're just bullshitting but um, yeah, the same with you, man. And me and you, we we get on Call of Duty all the time. That's right. And we just have these deep conversations, hilarious conversations. People that we meet that are now our friends online. We we like to to talk. We it, like, dude, when we showed up first, we started talking all these crazy topics. We're like, oh, save it, save, save it for the pod, save yeah, it for the pod, yeah, save yeah. it for the pod. Um, so for me, like, that's just important uh, for us to hang out and then post it you know because i'm pretty sure there's things that we can help you guys out with uh, on conversations on yeah. anything or just topics and you're gonna see how similar we can be but also how different we are with our answers yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. um but for me that's that's it like i i want to just kind of hang out with you guys talk with you guys with a big old giant dick shaped yeah. uh, microphone in front yeah. of my let's face whip it out, let's whip it out let's whip it out let's whip it out damn we did it again dude we couldn't we couldn't do 10 minutes without bringing up a dick joke <laughs> i know it wasn't even 10 minutes i don't think it was th like uh, no, no. 10 seconds but yeah man i mean that's that's basically it for for you me what uh what what told you yeah i'm gonna hop thing, on with you fools uh the main thing dog uh the number one word that pops in my head is connection uh connection with y'all um, I get to kick it with y'all again, just like you said. Full, it gets so hard to be able to keep a relationship up, friendship up, and right. uh, we get to kick it, dog. We get to talk about stuff and a connection between each other, connection with the with the fans too. Because I imagine that this podcast would be an immersive one. Um, like if you guys have any, he's right, he's right. Yeah, if you guys have any feelings, thoughts you guys want to share with us, we have an Instagram. Yeah, it's right here at the bottom of the screen. Can it show? Where was it going to show? Oh, right, right there, there, right there, right, right there, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, send us any thoughts, anything you guys want to talk to us about. Send us voice notes. Send us a voice voicemail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to connect with y'all, make friends with y'all. We want to make y'all feel like you're kicking it with us. Just you know connecting just yeah. hanging out like homies yeah. yeah try to share some of our life experiences and, and and some of the stuff that we went through and hopefully some of you guys can relate i think this would be a good podcast I mean, it, to talk about things that we don't even yeah. know that we don't know that yeah you know what i mean good chance for us to learn and you know the, the the same thing you know we there's there's a bunch of shit we do know but there's some shit we don't know either yeah, yeah, yeah. oh there's a bunch you know? of shit i don't about know about each guys. other i'm looking forward to find out things that i don't know about. i know everything about you dude yeah like earlier dude you yeah. told me something i had no freaking idea yeah. and i was like oh i made a joke about it yeah. i should have made a joke about that and i'm yeah. glad i now i know no joke it's about that topic yeah. anymore. Good one, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Roll the clip. <laughs> Roll the clip. <laughs> this is me to cry. Okay, yeah. oh. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> Just mad. His makeup ready. <laughs> How dare you? The one topic. <laughs> oh, no, man. No. But I'm just, I'm just hyped because it's just. I feel like. I feel like, and I've said this a bunch of times, man. I feel like individually, we're dope. We're funny. We, we've made our own. We've, we've, we've been able to do our own shit. But together we're f another level man yeah, i yeah. feel like that's I our agree. superpower when we get together and that's us three and that's also including tim rick i feel like we when we all get yeah. together as a group it's so we feed off each other we mm -hmm. we you know like we live in a bubble guys there's not a lot of people that are 100 percent honest with us mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying there's not right. a lot of people because they'll look at you they'll look at me hito and they're like oh shit maybe this guy's my my end to fucking youtube this is oh, my end to do something oh, big that's what you mean and they're not gonna be honest with you they're not gonna yeah. try to challenge you they're just gonna tell you what you want to hear yeah and i dude i deal with that shit all the time as well i deal with a lot of people that are yes men and i'm like i don't want that i don't want you to just agree with me on everything there are mm -hmm. branches more than yeah dude and i feel like that's what's good about us i'm not just here to agree with you just to agree and get on your fucking good side mm -hmm. i'm gonna be on your good side even if i piss you off yeah and i like that same thing with you Z. yeah so it's being brothers dude yeah man so i think that's what's special about what we're gonna do it's like you know like we might hurt each other's feelings but it's not on purpose <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We we know enough shit to to to, uh, to piss each other off for or, sure. And we're not gonna we're not gonna try to push certain buttons, right? Like I, I'm not trying to be a dick. I am. Yeah, Eric. We'll, <laughs> get, we'll get into it. But I think that's what makes us special, man. And I, and I talk about that also, like in when we work together on shows, when we work together on skits, when we work together on whatever we've done on the past. Yeah. 
you know, you watch a TV show now and it takes a couple episodes for you to see the chemistry between the characters, right? Mm. And I feel like we have that chemistry on day one because we've known each other for such a long time. Mm. We've seen each other's dicks way too mo- too many times. It's my wallpaper on my phone. <laughs> too right many times. Yeah. And you guys think I'm fucking around, but oh, we used God. to play a game called Naked Game. Cue the pictures. <laughs> Cue the pictures. <laughs> you got them. You got, you got I have that. so many. I got some. Yeah. yeah. Dude, remember when we did that Naked Game at that Super Bowl party? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Virginia. Wait, wait, wait. We got to explain wow. the naked game. The naked game is it? Did I start? Did I start the naked game, or was it me or Tim? Is it you or t- I don't know. That's a good question. Basically, um, we we'd be in a setting kind of like this. All the homies were hanging out in the living room or something, and then I think I remember coming down uh, with like just being naked, but with an object over your yeah. your junk. And you got to make a pun. You got to make a pun so off that, of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's like I think it was Sam who started it. Who um, came down with the guitar. Who's a no? Sam hopped in on it. No, no, Sam hopped in on it. Oh, okay, okay. I think Sam, I remember Sam because I remember him seeing it. But Sam, the singer. Yeah, yeah, the singer, the singer, the singer from uh, we did musicals with him right? in high school. Yeah, but uh, like, say, say if you came down with like a like a like a pot, of, a flower, or something. Just like, hey guys, can you guys help me grow this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, can can you help me get this? Yeah, you know, and then everyone's just like, it's such a shock, and people are like, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, we were wild back. My favorite back then. one was with Eric. He came out with a goldfish cracker. I'm like, bro, that's not covering much, dude. It was literally just covering up the pee hole. I saw everything. I'm like, dude, that's not hiding anything. That's not hiding shit. Or who came out with the fire? Oh, yeah, yeah. Was that you or Tim? Fire? Someone what do you came mean fire? out with like a like a butane that, that shot fire and was like <laughs> yeah, on their dick and they're like, so man, yeah, it's hot. I don't even remember this fire. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it was like a little butane like <laughs> thing, dude. I don't know, but it got wild, and and that was crazy. that was a fun thing to do, especially for like uh, whenever someone would bring like their new girl or something, right? Like, you know <laughs> no, what I mean? Like, wait. yeah, the new girl had to be like, and they had to, we had to know her for like a year. Before but if she this. laughed right away, we're like, oh, oh yeah, she's yeah, cool. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah no, she's cool. Sure. She's cool. You know, I've never went through nobody from the naked game right now. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you experience anybody doing the naked game? Uh, yeah, the naked game then evolved into uh, naked slip and slide. Uh, this is before you two got oh, me. Wow. Oh, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Before me too. Roll the clip. Roll yeah. the clip. It's yeah. me and fucking. It's it's me and Tim just with our bare ass just in, in Peter's backyard. Yeah, there was a lot of nudity for us growing yeah. up, and we were it, for us it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was just. It was really funny. <laughs> My dad still calls uh, Tim uh, flying yellow ass. Flying yellow ass because one time he came to a party. Flying yellow ass. Flying yellow ass. Flying yellow ass. Hey guy. Hey guy. Hey guy. Doesn't know any of our names. Yeah, he knows your name. He knows your guys' name. Yeah. Oh well, he's been just joking with me then this entire time bro (laughs) but yeah he uh it was like i was throwing a party and tim tim was like the the dude from uh like the tank let's go streaking and nobody fucking joined him so he went streaking in the jumper and he was doing like backflips and flips in the fucking jumper and that's exactly what my dad showed up dude (laughs) pulls up the car into the like where the jumper was and just sees tim dude so since that day he's uh flying yellow ass (laughs) shout out to you flying yellow ass flying yellow ass Mm mm-hmm that's some good times, man. Yeah, but man. you know what's crazy is like uh, it, how we all met, you know, which uh, which is something we can kind of just get into, you know. Oh, yeah. I remember, um, you know, thinking Peter. Uh, I, okay, so I'm in. I'm, I'm a sophomore, and, and, and someone pulls up this video, Mr. Carlin, which uh, rest in peace, Mr. Carlin. Um, a drama rest teacher, rest drama teacher, show. and uh, we're in drama class, and I remember like seeing this video of like some Star Wars shit happening, and I'm just like, who is this? And I'm like. This kid like just shot this entire like movie. Mm-hmm. So let me explain. So I there is this uh, Star Wars film festival every year. Where Wait, hang on. I was gonna get. I was gonna get to it. it's Peter. It was Peter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was Peter. No, but let me explain what I was showing you. <laughs> no, let me, like what I, what it was. It was like these videos every year. Uh, uh, George Lucas would hold a, like a festival who yeah. can make the best Star Wars films, and that, that's what you saw. That's what I was. Dude, so oh, okay. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't know it was that. The, I didn't yeah, know you yeah. were you were entering a, a thing. Yeah, they're for film festivals. I remember you'd give out tickets. Remember you'd give out tickets for people in, for lunch. That was for the screenings. But yeah, you would sell out. Remember? Yeah, the second year we started selling it was tickets. hype dude yeah. wait wait wait. Let, let's 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 work our way into that let's work our way into that because right. because i want to talk about how i first met peter and then like it led into doing a lot of videos like okay. that in the little theater yeah yeah you yeah. know because so, yeah it, it was like yeah like bro we felt like little rock stars you know to, to, to get yeah. to that so, so let's let's put a pin in that real quick yeah. when i first met peter was ninth grade and I remember, I remember hearing like this like white dude running around the track you know saying things in in, in spanish and i was like yeah, i used to yell uh to the, all the mexican la kids migra. la migra cabrones <laughs> 
I got a big and fucking everybody would run really faster. That like, was the funniest thing, dude. I was like, who taught this fool Spanish? Who <laughs> taught this Jewish fool Spanish? Dog? This this little foster ghost kid <laughs> Spanish. And then it wasn't until I, I it clicked when I saw the video of Mr. Carlin's class, and I was just like, that's the same motherfucker. Yeah. And I was like, I, I gotta get to know him. Yeah. You know, and I think Carlin actually is no, the Carlin one. No, Carlin set us up, dude. Yeah. He set us up on a blind date because he was yeah. like, hey, there's this Eric kid. There's this Eric kid. Oh, I got to do my Carlin. Yeah. There's this Eric kid, and I think I think you two will get along. Yeah. I think you two settle. 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 But I think you two yeah. will get along. Yeah. And yeah, dude, he kind of set us up. And I remember uh, we shot that. We shot a video for the Star Wars mm-hmm. film. And one of the things I'll never forget. We running imagination, thing. running imagination. It's called running imagination. Look it up. But we wore the same thing. You remember we were both? Yeah, a uh, black shirt. Black shirt, blue jeans. Blue, like, solo <laughs> swap yeah, me yeah. jeans. Thick ass With the jeans. rubber band in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we both showed up. We're like, all right, I guess, I guess we're fucking twins for this shit. Yeah. But yeah, man, we, mm-hmm. I remember that was the first, uh, we were going back into that. So that, that first video that we did, we screened it for the first time so those tickets, in, yeah. in the little theater, packed the theater. We packed, we had, used to have a little theater in our, in our school and we, we had a projector and we were able to project the movies there. Mm-hmm. Our drama teacher let us use our the Our drama teacher let us, yeah. So, so lunchtime. Rest and what was cool is, rest, mm-hmm. rest in peace, Carl. Rest in peace, Mr. Rest Carlin. And it was crazy because it was fully packed. Mm-hmm. I remember it was so packed. There was, there was people sitting on the stairs. Yeah. It was crazy. Fire man. hazard level, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, dude, that was honestly, and we we're talking about this earlier, but that was Honestly, like the day where I showed that movie, getting the audience reaction, and then I remember walking into drama class after I showed the video, yeah. and everybody applauding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I just remember that day. I'm like, I guess this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. Yeah. You know, and then what's crazy, it's like, here we are still today, man. Yeah. 20 years later, literally 20 years, not even more than that. And we're still here doing it, man. And I honestly, man, like, it's a fucking dream come true, bro. As, as, as I don't wanna say that, like, as, uh, as cliche or anything like that, but it really is, man, to 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 be able to work with you guys for the past 20 years and still be consistent and still be doing it and still be relevant. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is ish pretty insane. Ish. ish. Pretty, <laughs> only because you don't fucking do videos anymore on your channel, fool. I'm still ish. waiting for the Mijito uh, the Mijito Lex uh, goes to prison part seven, yeah, goes bro. To prison. Uh, <laughs> he's in between prisons, fool. <laughs> Was it uh, low pro silos? Yeah, he's in a solitary confinement, like, yeah. deep in a hole, like the the deepest of holes. But yeah. you know what? Speaking of the like your screenings, I remember like watching you guys from afar and just being like, man, these guys are freaking cool. These guys are my guys. These like these are the guys that I want to like that that, that you know, I was. I'm here for a reason. You know yeah, yeah. Because I mean? like I grew up, um, my both my sister, and my brother. My brother's 11 years older than me. My sister's five years older than me. So they, you know, I kind of played by myself. Really, I grew up kind of like making my own movies and stuff. Uh, playing with my cap guns in my front. But yeah, making movies was just always. Uh, it was, it, yeah, it was. It was just a passion, dude. And just seeing you guys up there doing it. Uh, yeah, it, it it really turned me on. Mm. <laughs> but that's 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 the thing that I remember just seeing, like Peter, you know, shoot the stuff, like even running imagination and thinking, mm. like, yo, this guy has like a whole set, a script, a, you know, a, a gaffer or something, just fucking like lighting shit up. And I was like, that that's that inspired me to do like the the YouTube stuff that I'm doing too, you know. And then that's when I brought along Mijito, and I was just like, dude, like we got to shoot. I'm doing these cholo characters. You got to hop on one of them, and you know, everything just kind of marinated so nicely. And you, you know? and I, we came across each other in drama because uh, we didn't like each other at first, or at least you didn't like me. I didn't say that. You didn't like me. I still don't like you. Why didn't you like him? <laughs> the, um, I remember World History class. World History class, and we, we tell this story all the time. Yeah. Um, it wasn't like liked him. I was jealous of uh, the uh, the attention that he took from the girl. Like the yeah, girls was, loved yeah, me yeah, in yeah, class. There were these two girls that were like always like hover around. And bro, they were they were like super like Latin. They were like, oh my god, have you seen the new guy? And I was they like, were so good. ah, like, the new what guy. Else? So nice, dude. And then we we thought we talked about this all the time. But the way Alex would shake a hand, bro, right? Yeah. He's, got, he's got this little squint right here. Uh, uh, he does a double how hand. Ladies? How you doing, ladies? Full he, erection every single yeah. time you shake someone's hand. Full erection. He looked like a tripod, bro. <laughs> Where'd you learn that from, dude? Doing the double hand shake. I don't shake. know. I don't know. You're My just mom? a suave motherfucker. He'll call you boss. Hey, yeah. boss. Hey, boss. Now the boss thing came after I was selling. <clears throat> excuse me, selling cell phones. I would always sell. I would sell cell phones back in the day. So that would just be like, "What's up, boss? Hey, boss. How you doing there, boss? Yeah. What kind of cell phone you got there, boss? <laughs> oh, really? Can I speak to you for a second, there, boss? Fuck, you're one of those. See what I like hated him, bro? Yeah, you see dude, what? Yeah, yeah. 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 But it wasn't yeah. until like afterwards. It was just like a like a whole entire like this fool's trying to take my girls all of a sudden. <laughs> 
And then we started like doing drama class. We did like a skit together. And I was like, damn, damn this, this was, was funny. funny. Yeah, we yes. both said the same thing. Yes. Um, and we've we've been inseparable ever since. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we, we FaceTime each other. We've been Dutch milling ever since, man. Huh? <laughs> Ew, Alex. Alex, come on. We're <laughs> live. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's why we have a podcast now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Thanks yeah. for that answer, Eric. <laughs> Bing. Bing. Please sponsor us. Yeah. We make way more dick oh, jokes. Of sponsor. Oh, yeah. This episode is brought to you by The House Fool. The House Fool. Damn. Um, Try our different flavors. We got the Downers Fool, mm -hmm. we got the OG Fool, Ouch. and the Sweet Fool. What Ooh. fool are you? Oh, nice. Damn. Guys, we just come up with <laughs> yeah. bad times around here. Hey, by the way, we're looking for sponsors. So if you oh, like no, the way spot. we just did that mm -hmm. sponsor, hook us up, Broccoli. Shit. We can sponsor you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> check it out. Check it out. Broccoli. Mm. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. In my tum. Broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> now with the, with, with the chili oil. With the chili oil. Uh, with the chili oil. The house food. Mm. <laughs> yum, yum. In my tum. One more, one more, one get more. It, get uh, it, get it, bro. Oh, Macintosh, you're, Macintosh. You're on fire. Macintosh. <laughs> have you guys, have you guys tried the new M3 Mac? Mm, <laughs> yum, yum in my tub. <laughs> Macintosh. Pick one up today. <laughs> bro, sponsors should be lighted up right now, dude. Oh, man. They need I to be lighted up. Here. I can see it, dog. They'd there be fools go. not to. They'd be fools oh, not to. No, I'm going to take it out for continuity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thehousefool.com, though, if you want oh, yeah, you're no, trying to bring your culo. Check out the homies. Really, really good. Check it out, check it out, check this it out. Mm -hmm. Selling like hotcakes, bro. The fool on the fool on the label though, I don't know. No, that fail. I don't know. You not get full that way. Wait, let me see. It could be changed. Dude, that's me. It could be changed. That's me. That no, fail way. Fool, stop lying. That fail way. You. That fail. Hater. Pinch fool. a hater. You don't even have. Duh, you don't even have that goatee. Look at that. That fool's fool, lying. We're, we're muting all this part and just replacing yeah. this bit. Yeah. <laughs> We have to do an episode talking about the musical. We gotta do a whole episode about you guys, Cholo Adventures. Like you know? That's that's so eight podcast. Yeah, I won't even get into that. But one one of the things I do want to talk about is our new venture that yep, we've got coming, into. Baby. What was that? What's coming? What's coming? Yeah, man. So, uh, for those who have been following us, you might have noticed that we all three of us we did a stand up show uh, that Eric headlined, and it was freaking like a. Man. Amazing. A lot of fun. Like, amazing. Like, it was so dope. <laughs> it was such a good crowd. I heard this from a comedian, man. I heard being funny is subjective, right? Sure. But killing on yeah. stage isn't. Mm. And I feel like we killed it on stage that night. Pretty much our first time. You had done it before, but not in that setting. No, no, and no. That was the first time. That was the first time, like, at a um, at a Laugh Factory. The first time I did some stand-up was at uh, Pico Rivera. They had, like, a stage set up. headlining, too. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't headlining that. No, no, no. No, but uh, that was your first time headlining. This was my first time headlining. Yes, yes, yes. But I'm, I'm going back to the, the when I first did it. And uh, the headliner there was Paul Rodriguez, actually. Oh. Um, you came to the show. Yeah, yeah. You came to the show. Um, yeah, that was the first time I like did some jokes in front of like, they told me it was a thousand people because it was an outdoor setting. Yeah, yeah. And I remember thinking like, shit, this is like, like super nerve wracking. But once you get up there, like you just, you kind of feel like, mm -hmm. fuck it. They don't laugh. Like, just fuck it. Like, just go for it. Yeah. So having that. And then, like a whole year almost later, uh, we connected. Uh, I connected with the PK. Shout out to PK. Up, and PK? then, um, you know, we went to one of his shows that he put together, where, where it's like a like a whole bunch of like his Asian homies. Like they got together and did like a show um, at the Bicycle Casino. Yeah, we got super drunk that night. We and, got fucked up. And yeah. Remember, we were like, we can do this. We literally <laughs> told him, like, bro, picture that we 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 could do, bro. We got jokes, dude. Yeah. yeah. And so he kind of set what, it buddy? up. Yeah, yeah. He set it up. He set it up, and then like it kind of was just like, yeah, for you, PD. You know, we could do this. You headline, and then you, if you got any other homies, someone like kind of dropped out last minute, and then um, we were like. Mijito, yeah. are you down? Can you do like five minutes? Yeah. And so then Mijito went up on stage. But it was it was a amazing experience because it was one of those type of things like we love comedy, we love comedians, and to challenge yourself. I think yeah. that's the one thing about us as as homies is like we like challenging ourselves yes. and doing shit. Yeah, that yeah. was that was a major thing for me. I, I that was a major hurdle. I felt like I, I went. And it was last major, minute for you too. We yeah. should, we should. I think for all of us, dude. Like I, yeah. I felt that for me, like I, I take stand up so seriously. Where I was like, I never thought I would be doing well, this. Shit. For me personally, because you know, at this point in time, at that point in time, I was kind of like, you know, there's a lot of questions. You know what I mean? A lot of shit that was going on in my head. You know, like what kind of questions? Just is like, am I is am I good enough for this? You know what I mean? Uh, am I funny? Am I um, do, should I still be doing this? You know what I mean? Um, you should, by the way. I'm just just I'm letting you know. But like stand-up <laughs> is such a vulnerable 
thing yeah. to do you know what i mean so for sure and obviously yeah, you're doing it live that. it's not like the videos where we can be like cut uh what if we did it like yeah, what yeah, if yeah, you yeah, delivered yeah. it like mm -hmm. like bro like that's why you practice mm -hmm. that's why you practice practice and like like me and peter like we, we were bro we were calling each other that same week like dude how, how much are you going down on your stuff like mm -hmm. he's like oh dude i'm down in like 17 minutes right now mm -hmm. oh I'm, I'm i'm cutting down like 50 and we'd add stuff you know so just that alone and like making sure it's like embedded in your brain so that even if somebody was to say some shit mm. you can be like you can go blah 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 but then still stay on track with everything else yeah. you know so stand up definitely it uh, was such a fucking dope night yeah. man i just gotta say and there's more coming there's more coming we got yeah. some shows I too I get too i get i think too much about it like i um uh, man dude but how did you guys feel before like right I, I know the answer to this, but I want people to know. But like, what, how did you feel right before you went up? And how did you feel right after you walked out? And I'll give you mine, right? Right before, for me personally, I felt good, right? I felt really good because I felt like, oh, dude, this audience is good. You had done well. PK had done well. So I was like, hell yeah, dude. Like, I just felt so hyped up. And mm -hmm. as soon as I got my, I was so nervous, dude. So fucking nervous. But as soon as I got my first laugh, mm -hmm. it all went away. Yeah. <sighs> I haven't done a lot of crazy drugs, but I felt like I had done all these drugs. <laughs> like, no joke, bro. I felt, I don't know if you guys felt like yeah. this euphoria, like, mm -hmm. like this, like, holy shit, what did I just, did I just do that? Yeah. Yeah. Did I just do that? What? Yeah. So that's how I felt. And then you, you had a, a, a different situation. You, you, you talked about earlier, but you were like a last minute addition, like yeah. a addition to the show. Someone mm -hmm. had dropped out and we added you maybe like 24 hours before. Yeah. And well, I had you guys had informed me about a month like hey it's a possibility right yeah. it, was, it was a possibility get ready so i had you know i had prepared a little something right but um once it was like a week prior where you guys eric told me like hey you know, bad news it's like schedule wise it couldn't fit you know everybody in the schedule so you know you know can't be a part of it it was like a little a little miscommunication of yeah. of, of setting the whole entire thing up and then like having a it's it's just the whole entire lineup. I I wanted you to be on the show. But, yeah, yeah. So like whatever, right? Um, we left it at that, and I think a day before the show, you guys let me know that the spot opened up. Yeah. Yeah. So I went into it, and I fucking re I revisited it. Um, I rewrote it. Uh, I didn't have it down till maybe the car ride there. Sheesh. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have it memorized. I can't say I had it down. I didn't have it memorized till like the car ride there and that, i remember being backstage pacing around yeah i remember that going back and forth going through it in my head um trying to visualize the reception and just just trying to put myself in, in that headspace and take myself out of my uh the doubting space the the voices in my head and, and putting myself in more of a headspace of being in the moment and as and the best way that i can probably describe it is bungee jumping um, the beginning of it, you get that exhilaration, that adrenaline, that adrenaline rush, right? Have you that, bungee jumped? That euphoria that you're going through, that, that, huh? Yeah. Have you, oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. yeah, me too. But you, yeah. you go, right, and you're going through that euphoric, you don't know how it's going to go, but it feels fucking amazing, especially when that, when that crowd is going crazy, right? That, that intro. Did you do ankle really awesome. or, or, or harness? The, the, I stayed the ankle. Oh, I did harness, so I fucking got my levels, dude. Uh, yeah, nah, no, yeah, I didn't on the harness. way down, boom. But no, exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what you're talking and about. And the ending feels like bungee jumping where oh my, I, I'm, oh, I'm alive. Yeah, I did it. I did it. What I, the I did it. I'm oh, yeah, alive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that that was for me like um, uh, it was a huge hurdle for me because I've been dealing with so much in my head lately. You know what I mean? So like uh, was it like a stamp of like I belong I mm -hmm. should be doing this mm -hmm. yeah no I felt the and same so, way you know, uh, yeah I felt the same way because yeah. a part of me was also like can I fucking do this yeah. am I you know I am went I down this? to the green room and I cried my eyeball oh, I <laughs> cried my oh eyeball. that's hard to believe <laughs> that's hard to what <laughs> I, you? I took a picture of PK I, oh yeah, I yeah that's the picture, picture that's the picture uh, of my eyes were rolling. I was talking to my sister my sister and my brother like my first people that I talked to uh, uh, my sister my brother my my wife of course. Um, but like uh, I was talking to my sister at the time, I was just like, I freaking did it because she knows as much as everybody. I hope what mm -hmm. I'm dealing with. Man, dude, it was just such a good feeling, dude. Such a such a good. I thank you and PK because that that was a good, uh, good, good. And I thank you oh, too también, for, yeah. for for lighting that fire. Yeah. And uh, and thank you guys for believing when I when I wasn't really. It was when I was having a hard time believing in myself. Now listen, dude, you crushed it. No, you're it. welcome, man. You crushed it. And, and when he, as, I knew as soon as you went up and you, you made a joke, something about your your anus being so tight. Oh, uh, yeah. Where you, you can't even fit a, a, yeah. a fucking pin or something. Like, dude, you yeah, had the crowd good. at that moment. Yeah, everyone's just, ah. I was like, <sighs> yes. And and you didn't see this, but me and Peter in the back were kind of like, we, we kind of kept listening. We were listening to what you were making, mm. like your jokes, and we're like, 
Yeah. It's nice. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hot yeah. crowd. Peter kept going. Hot crowd. Say hot crowd. crowd. Good crowd. No, but towards the end, towards the end, we're like, all right, Mijito, come on, mm-hmm. <laughs> come on, Mijito, really, yeah. really, yeah, 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 we're doing this, yeah. really, yeah. Yeah. Mijito, really. We were like originally like five minutes, but like we know it's your first time, like it might go over. And luckily, we did have the the, the time. Yeah, yeah, so you went 13. over like five minutes. Yeah, yeah, man. But it was dope, man. I that night was. I got stuck in the middle. I got stuck in the middle. Yeah, you got stuck a little bit. Yeah, again, like it was. I had just memorized on the car right there and uh i think what threw me off was that i made an impromptu joke and i messed with the crowd a little bit yeah and since my routine yeah, it throws you was off, a story yeah. my routine was a st- i was telling a story yeah, and mm-hmm. so and since i threw funny in story too joke, by the way and i got that reaction and it threw me off and i couldn't remember where i left off yeah and i couldn't remember and hence i couldn't remember where to be you know Pick yeah, it up yeah. from. So I was just stuck there and I was <laughs> bow. And I remember looking at my wife right at her and she looked right at me and she could see the look in my eyes. She knew I was <laughs> fucked up. And I was like, hmm. And I remember someone on my my left said, So what happened? <laughs> yeah. So it was like move it along. The yeah. audience, the audience was helping you, dude. Yeah, bro. And I we had a good. I was gonna say we had a good crowd. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know what. I had one word that popped in my head, and I instantly connected that to the rest of my set. I was like, all right, boom, and I picked it up from there. Yep. But it was a great experience, and I would love to do it again. I'd love to do it again. That world That's the plan. is. It's dicey. It's scary, but um. So just think about like the people that we look up to, dude, and like their beginnings. Because I'm, dude, I'm, I'm sure they can all talk about moments where just like one where they bombed or one where they weren't so sure, but then like that moment when they see that first laugh, like you're saying, like mm-hmm. euphoric, it could mm-hmm. be fucking amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I also like wanted to prove to people that we belonged up there. That we're not just YouTubers, people that are up there because we have numbers. Like I wanted to go up there and be funny and like be be part of the crowd cuz to be honest with you guys like we skipped a bunch of steps. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. we I fuck I, I, yeah. I No, but we handled mm-hmm. it. We but that's the thing, right? We're, we're not just anybody. Like we we have experience with this shit. Like we've been doing videos, we do yeah. comedy for 20 years. So we have an advantage, but we did skip a lot of steps. Tell them you what know? you mean by skip skipping steps. You know, pay it's like dues, most comedians, dues, yeah, dues, they got to pay their dues. They got to do yeah. open mic nights with two people in the crowd. Do something in they give them local two, three minutes, yeah. you know, and it's like we were up. We did 20 minutes, you know, Straight like up, Mijito yeah. got 10. Like that's unheard of. Huh. But we did well. Like I'm telling you, like I, the crowd fucking ate it all up. Like it would have been a different story if like, you know, we didn't do all. But, it, but, but, but what, I was, what I really liked is our routines were original they yeah. were they were really they were um true to ourselves true, true to, to ourselves. who we were like yeah. yep. we didn't try to like kind of come up with some random ass shit like we kind of just really we, we, yeah, we didn't try things. to be anybody else up there yeah but i think that was the most important part like we just proved yeah. like hey we're not just youtubers like we're not just up here because mm-hmm. of our numbers like we're up here because we have some talent yeah. you what know about, what about you dude you were headlining this whole deal yeah yeah so you gotta imagine like yeah, it must have been I'm, harder i'm watching <laughs> you guys kill it and i want you guys to kill it um, but I think like when I found out I was headlining, I'm like, damn, we're all in the back. We're all kind of hyping each other up, but like everyone's going, going, and I'm the last one. So imagine like a little bit of pressure was on my mind. Like what if everyone kills and me, the headliner fucking sucks, Of course, yeah, you know? Yeah, so yeah. I like, like obviously that was like in my head, but I'm like, fuck that dude. Like I got, I got some funny material here. So the same thing right before I went out, there was, um, there was a little moment where I was like, I just took a, a huge deep breath. Cause it, you know, they were clapping for Peter cause Peter fucking killed it. He came back. There, and I made sure I was on the other side of the curtain because I was I was about to go up, and so I was just kind of taking a few deep breaths. I was like, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And the first thing I thought of, I was like, I'm gonna just dance. <laughs> so as soon as I came out, I did like a little cholo dance, mm-hmm. and then first joke, um, I think somebody, someone in the audience made some sort of like. Um, I, I told everyone put your hands together. Someone immediately clapped right away, and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna go with, just clap. And so got the first lap there, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, we good, we yeah. chilling, we good, and everything just kind of. It was, it was sm- like, dude, it just felt there. like I was talking to people. Mm, yeah. And I think once I got out of my head, I was just like, you know, people bought tickets because they wanted to see us. Mm-hmm. And they're like, so let's talk to them. Like, let's just hang out and talk. Um, that versus the first time I did it over in Pico. I'll be honest. I feel like in Pico, like I, because um, that, that was my first time. And I remember like I I was on autopilot. Mm-hmm. 
I think I just went on autopilot. I, luckily, I had all my shit memorized, and I was just like, "Right, guys, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> no sabo kids, <laughs> all right? Yeah, no, that's a that? harder crowd, man, because that's outside. I feel like when you're outside, you can't really. The laughter doesn't really right. kind of. Because we did it this year, right? We, mm-hmm. Me and Eric did a, a like a what was it called? The Chicano Chicano Film Festival. We did it again. Uh, this year. Uh, it was yeah, the, the Chicano um, comedy. Yeah, comedy yeah. night. But yeah, it was the same thing. Same venue. Yeah, it's a tough venue, year. man. That, that, yeah. like it's all outside. It's like I want. I did maybe like two minutes. I did bring me like two minutes, and then yeah. I brought Peter on, yeah. and then I, I was really just. I, I didn't have any anything set up yet, but I was like talking about my chili oils, which you can get at thehousefood.com. Oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that being the first time, and and yeah, the same thing you guys are saying. Like I feel like I could do this shit, and it's it, it's especially because you just have that one on one connection with people, and um, basically we're gonna start doing we're gonna start touring. So if you guys want to get information on that, we'll put some information below. Um, and we'll we'll be coming to a city near you. The homies are gonna assemble near a city near you guys. Oh snap! Yeah, I'm pretty I'm excited for this all tour, man. That ass. <laughs> I'm pretty freaking excited yeah, to too. to mm-hmm. to not like also just travel with you guys, right? Like I want to do some shows in Texas, mm. Chicago, New York, kids. where Latinos are at, man. They're everywhere, so. <laughs> I'm bringing my kids. Yeah. I mean, speaking into jumping into the comedy world, obviously there's people that we look up to, we admire, you know, people like Dave Chappelle or uh, Cat Williams, you know, like there's different people that I, I know, like, you, do you guys have a favorite comic? Anything that for you, while you, before you got up on stage, you're like, I like the way this person does it, you know? I'll answer, for, like for me, like I, I really do love how, like Dave Chappelle does a lot of his shit mm-hmm. um, and he's just kind of like relatable with specific things. Mm-hmm. Um, I I don't know if you guys saw this dude, uh, I think his name is Shane Gillis. Shane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His special is so it's, funny. Yeah, bro. so funny. It has a whole bit about autism yes. that's great. He's, yeah, yeah, he's one of my new favorite. Yeah, yeah. he's funny. But for me, like Bill Burr is one of my. Oh, yeah, Bill Burr's great. Like top tier dudes. Like he comes out and he just comes swinging and he's like, uh, ah, 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 like that voice he has. <laughs> and dude, like. His Anger is his, yes. is his uh, stand-up. Yeah, yeah it, it, it just makes him so much funnier. Yeah. But uh, do you guys have anybody Anybody you guys look up to right before? You already said Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle has a way of telling you a story, and he has uh, the oh, bro, audience. Yeah, he, he has the audience going with you through the story, and then the final <laughs> payoff goes, and it's always the payoff that you're waiting for, but you're not expecting. You know what I mean? That's what I love about him. Uh, Richard Pryor. Can't, can't go wrong with Richard Pryor, bro. That's the OG. Yeah. Uh, and, and uh eddie murphy because eddie murphy makes oh, my dad dude. laugh yeah yeah, yeah eddie murphy for me beast. changed my freaking life man eddie murphy raw eddie murphy delirious yeah. like, chris rock too man yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. for me eddie murphy's like that's mm-hmm. one of the first stand-ups that i ever saw one of the first times that i memorized yeah like mm-hmm. my first video that i ever did is i'm just like redoing a, one of his one of his bits uh-huh. like that's my lines you yeah. know so yeah eddie murphy for sure man he's like a rock star too, yeah man. yeah dude yeah. Andrew Dice Clay, you guys remember? Love Andrew Dice Clay. He wouldn't wouldn't work today, but yeah. Uh, But I feel like, I think what I love about like, about comedians right now, it's like, it's one of the few people that are, that are still kind of not afraid to get canceled for some of the few people that are still kind of telling truths out there yeah. that are not afraid to do some crazy jokes. Cause I think everybody else is afraid, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you see a bunch of podcasts and it's always like, "Can, can I say that? Mm-hmm. Can I say this? Sometimes you gotta take that risk, though. No, of man. course, and that's like what we're gonna be to. doing. You know what I'm saying? Baby dicks, baby dicks, baby dicks. <laughs> so we were talking about I baby see dicks earlier. Today, like, like as far as like skits go on YouTube, uh, content creators on YouTube. How do you see that? How do you uh, see the landscape today, dude? I'm, I'm compared totally... to what? Compared to like the landscape that we were in, or uh-huh. just in general? Uh, what we were doing right now like the the number one thing that sells is hate we're we're in an age of clout oh, yeah we've yeah. been man we're, yeah. uh, where everybody has a fucking opinion like mm. freaking i don't care my cousin hey cousins i don't care when you went to mcdonald's <laughs> you don't have to be posting when you go to mcdonald's or when you go to denny's that's some irrelevant shit <laughs> no one cares this shit what you ordered you know what i'm saying well i think that's why it's important knowing your audience yeah you know and it's it's one of the things that i really like i admire about tyler perry mm. tyler perry got a lot of shit you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Tyler Perry movies. I've seen his movies. They're, they're cool, right? But I'm a fan of him. I'm a huge fan of, of his him. his hustle, who he is. His yeah. fucking hustle. And what he did, man, because what sure. he did was he worked his audience. Mm. And a lot of people give him shit for that. Like, dude, you're you're, you're setting black people back because you're doing this character. I'm like, this character, people love it. People are lining up. Yeah, yeah this is a kind of a stereotype, but it exists somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. If so many people are relating to it. And I feel like, I've gotten that that shit too. It's like, hey man, mm. you're just doing this character. And it's like, bro, first of all, that's who I am. I'm not even a character. Yeah. But it's also like, dude, like, 
just because you don't relate to this doesn't mean other people will. And I yeah. feel like that, sometimes we get caught up on that, dude. Sure. We get so caught up in like, fuck, is my audience going to like this? Are they going to think this is cool? But sometimes you got to be like, fuck the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I love you guys. Go with your truth, man. Yeah. yeah. But the, the thing is, they're always, they're expecting the same thing. They're always kind of expecting. So it's like, you have to break that. You have to break it. So, mm. so I, I feel like what you said is the perfect, like, you have to find a balance. Like, the way I see it, sometimes it's like, okay, one for you guys, one for, for me. me. And that's yeah. how I did my stand up. I'm like, okay, they expect certain jokes from me. Yeah. Uh. Boom, here you go. Uh, soy güero. Soy güero, soy pinche, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And dude, that's who I am. I don't mind doing it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm going to give you some new Here, shit. Here's your you cookie. Might not like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I feel like that's a good balance because we, you know, man, like it gets old mm -hmm. doing the same shit over, you know, over and over For sure. again. Like, uh, you especially have to, us as creatives. Yeah, man. You have to like, like when I was doing like, like my show Iguala Tres, like I, I did this show back in the day. It was pretty popular. It did really well. But... I was just doing the same thing over and over, the same format over and over again. And it was just exhausting. <laughs> like, it just got boring, you know? Yeah. And it was one thing if the audience let me do something different, but the audience didn't let me do something different. Every time I tried to do something new, they were like, nah, mm -hmm. nah. So what I had to do was like, I'm just, I'm done with this. Mm -hmm. If you yeah. guys aren't, aren't accepting anything new, I just have to move on to something completely new. And... That's how I got the taco truck video. That's how I made new stuff that put me on the map like nothing before. Otherwise, I would have been doing the same shit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like I would have been, if I would have just listened to the audience, I would have just been stuck doing the same fucking thing, stuck in the same place. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just got to be like, sometimes you, you take hits, right? We do yeah. videos that no one likes. Yeah. yeah. And you think, we think, oh, this is it. This is going to hit. And we put it out there like crickets. The, yeah, the same thing. The same thing. You have to challenge your audience, but most importantly, yourself. And that's that's another thing is like, you know, doing cholo adventures and constantly getting dressed up as, you know, doing everything, everything. And then me thinking like, well, I want to try something different. You know, I want to try mixing in like a music video. I want to try mixing in uh, more skit based stuff, you know, like the stuff that I used to shoot. And then like, you know, uh, jealous boyfriend, jealous girlfriend, you know, like different things that I remember at the very beginning, people were like, nah, go back yeah. to the cholo. Mm -hmm. And what imagine you would listen to the dumbass. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like you, you have to challenge it. And then once you see an audience for it, then you see like, wow, something I took a risk on, like did great. You know, uh, this, this other video, this, you know, like. Things like that is what opens you up, I feel like, as a human being and just to, to experience it. Um, and you need to challenge shit like that constantly, mm -hmm. man. And I think the same thing with comedy, the same thing with stand-ups. Whenever people go up and they say things, you know, they need to break that barrier, like that next like, kind of level up of something. And not only that, but like you're also you're growing like yeah like you as a person like you're not you're gonna, changing so you're your changing. content is gonna change yeah, yeah. i think so, that's why we've survived so it's long beautiful in this career man because we've adapted we've been able to change but we've know? still stayed true to the one thing it's like creating yeah yeah, um, yeah yeah comedy uh you know shooting skits and now like now we have an opportunity here to sit down with each other and just talk about it have a conversation yeah. about it you know yeah. Yeah, don't get into this career, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know um, when you ask kids now, when you survey American kids, right? Dude. You ask them, what is the number one career you want? YouTuber. YouTubers. YouTuber, man. Yeah. God yeah. dang, what happened? But how crazy is it? Is it that we were shooting videos or we liked this yeah. before YouTube was a thing? Yeah. Because oh, when yeah. YouTube came, it was like we already had videos that we were shooting. Yeah, our yeah. generation, ourselves. our generation, when we were on YouTube, we, we wanted to do YouTube because we had something to showcase. We wanted... We had a talent and we wanted to show it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, there was finally uh, something that came around, a platform that came around to be able to showcase our stuff. You know what I mean? But this generation today wants to be famous, wants followers. Um, and for no reason, yeah. with no talent, yeah. some just, just to live. Yeah. Like, you have no talent. Yeah. Like, what is your talent? You're not funny. You're not. Well, sometimes you. a personality yeah. could be enough for people to just watch it. But that's that's a why. Talent. I feel like that's a talent, right? Having a good personality could be a talent. Yeah, dude. Because, some, you know, man, if you're a likable person, like, yeah. that takes work, yeah. you know? Like, sure. But but what what if you're an annoying person and people are just watching you to, to see, like, what you're going to do this well, time? Well, that, that goes into a whole other topic that, that you know, yeah. right now. I guess I can split into two. But but that's what I'm saying. Like, like what is the personality? If the personality is just like, like you're saying, like, mm -hmm. people just want to clout you know get, get, get those narcissists man remember remember when fucking prank videos were such a big deal yeah. like bro i was just like i even started thinking like damn do i need to hop on some like prank like th these motherfuckers are showing up mm. you guys you watch know, that passing up oh, in like subscribers I, I, I hate the 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 pranks 
they're supposed to be pranks, but they're the fake pranks. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> like, give me, give me something with substance, bro. Like, you have me watching you know, substance, like, dude. That's that's it. Uh, entertain me while I'm taking a shit, dog. Maybe, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, put yeah. some effort into me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and we all we all pick our poison. We all pick what we like to see and our and our, gui- our, our guilty pleasures and shit. But <sighs> hey, we're hoping that this is your new guilty pleasure. Yeah, guys, at the Homies Assemble podcast, man. Um, waste your time with us. Yeah, waste your time with us. I hope you enjoyed your car ride, your your forty minute shit, mm-hmm. um, your shower, um, just whatever you're doing to ignore the kids and wifey, and you're just in in parking park somewhere mm-hmm. listening to us. Is if it's been a forty minute shit, um, get some help. Take some medicine. Yeah. No. Um, seek a doctor immediately. Uh, Vaseline, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Vaseline. If maybe. you've been jerking off to this podcast uh, and uh, your erection has lasted for more than two hours, you're welcome. S- s- you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and seek a doctor. <laughs> and call us in. Make sure you call in. So make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining us, man. This, uh, is, this has been time for us yeah. to unassemble. It's I can't not, believe yes. we've been doing. This. I can't believe we actually uh, we're pulling this off, guys. Thank you guys. We love you. Besitos. Mwah. Bye. 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 Salalawan. Do do do. Bye. Ugh. Oh, I fucking hate it. Ugh. Terrible. That was nice.